All right, so before we can go ahead and lay down the jute for the carpet, what we need to do is just give the floor a quick scrubbing um, with just with a wire brush. All we're doing here is just trying to get off any loose stuff that uh, the glue's not going to stick to very well. Um, we're really not trying to like take this down to the bare metal or anything. We're just giving it a quick, quick scrub to pull off any of the loose material. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and uh, then we can move on to gluing the carpet on. All right, so next what you're going to want to do is come in with a vacuum and get all this junk out of here and then, you know, take a look at it and see if there's any spots you're going to want to hit again. I think I might need to go back over this a couple more times. It seems like something oily spilled here or something, so we need to make sure we get that taken care of. And then after that, you're going to want to take your air blower and then blow all the dust out of here, and then I'll start to show you how to lay the jute down. All right, so now that we got the floor all cleaned off, what we're going to do is take uh, this jute pad in here and we're going to um, start to cut it in into a shape so that we can fill in all of these um, nooks and crannies and little channels and all these imperfections in the bottom of the floor. And the reason we're going to do that is so that it doesn't show through when we lay the carpet down because we want it to look nice and flat. So I'm going to show you how to do this on a couple of them here. <clears throat> So basically like these channels here, we're just going to want to cut some thin strips and we can glue those in there. So you can see how that kind of fits in there nicely when we put it in. And uh, when we glue that down in there, this will fit in there good. So I'm going to cut this to size. And then we just use uh, contact cement, like uh, same way I showed you in that previous video.
Now I'm just going to lay these in here to um, so they don't blow away while I'm getting while I'm spraying them down with glue. for that to tack up and we can stick it in there. While we're waiting for that to dry, we can uh, we can make a piece for this little hole here. And uh, it's good to have a Sharpie on hand when you're doing this kind of stuff. Typically, I like to trim it, make it, a, cut it a little big, and then you can uh, trim it to fit. And the more uh, the more precise you are when you're doing this, you know, the better your carpet's going to look when you're finished. So take your time with it. So see, something like that looks pretty good. Um, we might have to put maybe another layer over top. Um, you can take, kind of see, I can still kind of see that there's a bump here and it's a little low. So we might have to put might have to put another layer over top of that. Um, sometimes you'll run into an issue where you don't quite need the whole thickness. What you can actually do is cut the size you need and then you can actually peel it and, like that in half. And then you have about half of what you need and you can lay it over there. So sometimes that works real good, so keep that in mind. But uh, this is ready to stick in here now. And you can do the same thing here, see how it's kind of sticking up a little bit more than we want. You can just come in and pull the layer off and just get it so that it, you want it to be, you know, a nice smooth transition. So you can also, if it's sticking up a lot, you can come in and use your scissors like this also. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this all up.
All right, so this is what it looks like when uh, we're finished filling in all the low spots in the floor. You can see that we pretty much got everything. And uh, this is really important to take your time and do a good job because we're going to put another layer of jute padding over top of the whole floor. And what this is going to do is it's going to make everything look really flat so that when we put the carpet on over it, you're not going to see any weird bumps or shadows and everything's going to look really nice. So um, make sure you do a really good job on this.